What's up everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Fortune Island on Forza Horizon 4. So today we are gonna do something that I did on the mainland and uh, decided to do it here on uh, Fortune Island as well. You notice we are in like basically a time attack grip built Evo. It's a little tail happy for my taste right now. I gotta fine tune it some more, but we're gonna run it how it sits. So if you guys remember I did on the mainland, I did basically what was called a stay in your lane challenge. And uh, I ran it in grip and drift where I created a course that was the checkpoints are really close together and they were on the basically the correct driving road that you would normally drive when you're driving on the city so i did one here today on fortune island and we're going to rip it today in uh this evo and then go to a real drive car and try and drift it and stay in our lane drifting and make sure we don't miss any checkpoints we're going to try and win the race um if we can but mainly not miss a checkpoint and we're going to drift it just to uh you know make sure we don't miss checkpoints so a little bit different if you guys haven't noticed from the title how i said youtuber challenge so if you guys know i did do a video with c Chiretto and nezzy uh here on the channel recently so make sure you guys check that out make sure you guys check out their channels as well but uh this is a little challenge to you guys Chiretto and nezzy i challenge you guys to give this a shot and uh see if you guys can handle gripping and drifting in this Stay in your lane challenge and maybe you too slap maybe you uh you give it a shot as well and see what you think about it so you guys also give it a shot let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section down below i would appreciate to know maybe direct message me a video of you guys doing it and send it on twitter or instagram i'd be very interested to see so it is at westwick festival circuit which is right outside the festival so for uh, sake of uh map it's right there so we're gonna go into it we're going to enter it, and uh, we're going to go back to normal event. If you, you guys could probably search it by my gamer tag or by the name itself, or if you're friends with me, it should show up. It is called Stay in Lane 2, Japanese style. So you got to run Japanese cars, so that's why we are running this Evo first. So we're going to run the Evo in a grip race series up the mountain in the correct lane. It does go through the twisties definitely uh had a lot of fun building this track i did use it in a lower horsepower skyline when i first built it so i haven't driven in a fast car yet so this is kind of a first uh deal for me uh hopefully expecting to take a win but not promising too much on this one because uh it may not look like it's a challenging circuit but on a wheel it could be very challenging so we're gonna hop right to it and we got a giant truck who is that giant truck t ringer ringer good job Got a big truck that's gonna take up the entire track. Thanks, man. Your driver tire is a jerk. So, there is gonna be an abrupt turn. See, he's taking up the whole track. How am I supposed to get past him? I'm gonna cut this. Wow, he's like pulling wheelies. I'm gonna cut this right here. With one place that you could probably cut to get a good, uh, good, uh, throw through the track. Oh, that guy braked really quick. I don't know why. So, as you can see, it is, uh, quite a tight course. And, uh, it makes it very fun. This is a good test for this new NRG wheel that we're rocking. It does feel super nice for racing because my thumbs are nice and comfortable on top of that Alcaterra. So we're going to try and uh, get up there. I can't remember what I had these drive guitars at. I believe they are uh, like maybe expert or higher. I'm not sure. I don't, They're not unbeatable. I know that, but they're up there. That's Evil Turtle 420. Wait a minute. It's spelled Evil with EVL. Trying to be a copier? Hmm. I don't know, man. I'm the only evil around here. Just kidding. Could you imagine if I, like, copyrighted the evil part? Oh, I copyrighted the spelled wrong evil, but it's not really spelled wrong. Uh. Alright, so did we miss that? Please tell me we didn't miss that. Oh my, they gave it to us. I'm sitting here staring at this guy's gamer tag and totally getting screwed up. Luckily, this car is set to where I can run pretty much third gear through this entire hill section. Ow. Excuse me, sir. 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 Thank you. Really? It's not going to give us that one? Oh, get wrecked. Well, 
So, just goes to show you, you can't cut the corner on this at all. Or it will not give it to you. You cannot cut the track or it will tell you you missed a checkpoint. So, uh, looks like I've almost failed my own challenge. So, give this a shot for yourself. This is not easy by any means. Some people will probably say, man, maybe if you drove better, you'd be, uh, you'd be right there. But, uh, give this a shot for yourself. This is, uh, it may look easy, but it's not that simple of a challenge when you're not used to driving, uh, I gotta slow, I gotta blow this car down. When you're not used to driving in this part of the track and you're used to using the whole track to your advantage, but now you're limited to only a small portion of the road, which makes for a different braking points and stuff like that. Well, we did fail the grip portion with uh, unfortunately missing a checkpoint. Locking up the brakes there, almost missing that checkpoint. So, I think we missed that one too. No? Okay, it gave us that one. These checkpoints are very rough. They're uh, not very friendly. And I know I've cut across the, the center line a couple times on a couple parts of these tr turns, but still trying to manage to keep in line to get all the checkpoints. So we did, looks like, fail on the grip portion of this. So hopefully we can redeem ourselves in the drifting portion. Drifting portion is going to be a lot fun, but we will be straight on some sections of the track because of the basically how long the track is and the long stretch. Unless you want to manji those stretches, which we may do. We may try and do that all in a complete drift. But we're going to definitely see how that works. So we're going to uh, grab a different car here. And I believe we are going to get our S13 with a rally motor in it. Where are you, S13? There you are, white on white with white and chrome wheels, HREs. Basically a basic drift tune, full angle lock, um, full built rally motor, cage, all the goodies, and uh, tuned with uh, that special sauce tuning that I've been uh, working so hard to get. Um, my cars are starting to handle a lot better now. Um, definitely a uh, good thing that my tuning has bumped its caliber up a little bit. All right, so now that we got a little bit of a clean track ahead of us, we're gonna we're gonna send it here and trying to stay in our lane for the most part while drifting. go we're gonna pretty much stay straight through the big straight sections because Manjing would probably get this thing way out of control the main stuff is yet to come here on this challenge circuit that I have built so here is where the challenge starts pretty much to stay in your lane while drifting and make sure we clip all these uh, basic clipping points. There we go. We're not doing too bad right here. We gotta slow down a lot to get back, bring the car back. There we go. There we go. We got this. Feeling pretty confident right now. The way this car is driving. I think we can get this. Handbrake there. Just guard rail tap. No big deal. Except for when we uh, hit the wrong, hit the wrong pedal and uh, pretty much stall the car out and uh, lose that. But just goes to show that if you're not focused and you lose your train of thought for just two seconds, your whole run can be botched and screwed up. I knew that was coming. We had to cut that really short. Got to pretty much kind of stay focused on uh, where you're going and what you're doing. Otherwise, you won't become way offline. And then next thing you know, you're missing checkpoints or running off cliffs. 
I would have been I would have been wrecked if I went off the cliff right as I was talking about going off the cliff. So there we go, we got this. We got it, we good. Getting close to the top. We've uh managed to get every single checkpoint. I thought we were gonna miss that as I said it. I gotta stop saying things, because usually when I say things is when things happen. Running that outer guardrail. So, some of these turns, the line is like the farthest flowy line ever. Then other turns, it's not the line you would normally be taking. Trying to cut that, there we go. Or picking up some speed through this section. Slow the car down a little bit so I don't drift too, too wide. So, latter part of this track, we definitely are getting it on this section. Gonna blow the car down a little bit so we don't over rotate ourselves. Did we miss that? You've gotta be kidding me. Aw, oh, get wrecked. I was getting too comfortable and then that happened. Ugh. Well, that just, see? See, don't get too comfortable. You'll uh, drift a little bit too wide because you think you got the speed and you're good on it, and then now your uh, your whole uh, feeling of the track is all out of whack. Definitely got to try and make sure we stay in it for the final part because uh, this is not an easy, not an easy challenge to do this sideways. I would like other people to give this a shot and. Uh, See how well you do and how many, see how many times it took you to get it right. Because uh, this is actually my first time drifting this. So, for the most part, we had a very successful run. So, that was a handful. Give us a shot for yourself. Guys, definitely let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section down below. As always, you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All of you found in the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'll see you guys next time.